Hello everybody. Today it's Good Friday and it is a glorious day. And if you listen really carefully, you can hear a tiny little bird. There he is, called a chiff chaff. They're so small. today I've been in the farmer's field and we can just see some of his seeds starting to grow. I don't know what he's planted. We'll have to wait and see. We've all been busy planting too I think. Some of us have been planting at home, haven't we? And we can all maybe put up some pictures of what we've been growing when they've grown a little bit. So, how about this for today's story? It starts with a seed. And we've got the lovely Chiff Chaff joining in in the background. It starts with a seed. But where does it lead? What's happened to the seed now? Can you see? To a root, to a shoot, to a few tiny leaves. I can see a little insect in the picture. Can you see it? What do you think it's called? Yeah, it's an ant. Well done. As days turn to weeks, the seedling has grown. It's a dragonfly perch, a ladybird throne. And you see the ladybirds that are hiding in the picture. But it wants to grow bigger. It yearns to climb high, pushing down through the soil, stretching up to the sky. What is in the picture now? Can you see the new creatures that we can see? It's a little bit breezy here, so the pages are actually turning. How can something so small turn into a tree, which is such an incredibly big thing to be? What other things can you see in the picture now? Butterflies, flowers, there's a tiny little mouse, and the tree is changing, isn't it? It takes many summers and autumns and springs with each passing year, the trunk builds up its rings. If you have a look in the garden or indoors, if you have a look at the end and it's been sawed off, you'll see lots and lots of rings. That should have been sawn off, sorry. Lots of rings. And the, those rings tell you how old the tree is. One ring for each year. Strong branches reach out, they give shelter and shade at home where the animals don't feel afraid. Even in winter, when the leaves have all dropped, the tree is asleep, but life hasn't stopped. Can you see what's happening? I wonder what the squirrel's doing. That's right, he's burying some nuts. We often distribute sweet chestnuts when we're at forest school, don't we? It is waiting for spring, for the warmth of the sun. When buds burst from branches, what colour, what fun. And we're in springtime now, aren't we? And this is what the trees around us probably look like. The birds are nesting. I've got some lovely pictures today of birds with nesting material. I might show you them. It's not just a tree, but a wonderful world full of beetles and grubs and squirrels and birds. See, a tree is home to so many different creatures, isn't it? 
all busily making a life of their own in their leaf-laden, bark-bound, arboreal home. Can you ask Mummy and Daddy what arboreal means? Find out. What do you think the foxes are doing? Are they making a game? The seeds are now ready to float in the breeze. I wonder what season this is. What do you think? And actually I can see a woodpecker on the tree trunk. And we've been hearing the woodpeckers at forest school. And we were actually pretending to be a woodpecker, weren't we? Using our noses. But our noses are far too soft. A woodpecker has a very strong skull. And some of them might just grow into new trees. And there's all kinds of leaves and it shows you that spring, summer, autumn, winter, what they look like throughout the year. And it all started with a seed. Goodbye for now. Have a lovely Easter everybody.